Well, hello, Crime Stuffers. Hopefully this one will be fast and easy. Yes, I did get a t-shirt from this guy. Actually, I got a couple of t-shirts from this guy. Gave him away his friends. Gave him away his friends. Gave him away his gifts to friends. Uh, <laughs> and, and he went back and uh, sued the government and won. Amazing. Because they were trying to say he couldn't use this logo because it was intellectual property and nonsense. All right. But this whole thing, the reason why uh, I'm wearing this shirt today is because with all the stuff from Snowden and so forth and all the spying we've been doing on each other and on other countries and so forth and the NSA supposedly is tapping all the phones and they know all the emails and stuff. Really, so wouldn't they know about who's trafficking the heroin into the country? Wouldn't they be able to figure out how it gets into the United States in such huge quantities that I'll put a few links down there, but just do your own searches. It's kind of interesting to type um, heroin epidemic and then put a city or a state in there and just see what comes back. Heroin epidemic, Texas. Heroin epidemic, California. Heroin epidemic, New York. Heroin epidemic, put cities in there, etc. How is the heroin getting into the country? And now people are finally starting to figure out that Afghanistan, and I said this in an earlier event, it's piped Lanistan. We were, it was about plumbing, and it was about dollar hegemony, and it was about strategic you know, positioning and so forth, not about getting the Taliban or getting freaking bin Laden or whatever the hell excuses they came up with. It's about drugs and heroin, particularly heroin. The Taliban, and they try to tell the story the other way around, like the Taliban's using it to finance. No, because of their religious fervor, they had bought <laughs> heroin production in Afghanistan down to almost nothing. And then, of course, we came in there and uh, brought it back up again. And there are tons of articles, and I'll put a few down here, and you can find more of yourself. And pictures, lots of pictures of our troops in Afghanistan helping these heroin farmers to, uh, oh, poppy farmers, to uh, produce heroin. And then what happens to the heroin? It makes it to the United States, but we don't know how. Well, of course, because you know what? Navy ships and airplanes and Air Force planes and transports don't go through customs. And the guys that are unloading those boxes don't know what's in the boxes, <laughs> right? The guys on the other end, they don't know. In fact, guys putting them on planes might not know, although some of them absolutely fucking positively know what's in there. But anyway, and then it gets distributed and then they use the money and it's a huge amount of money, the black market for heroin. Heroin has been a currency forever. I was I remember reading something about like Japan sending a submarine to the Nazis because they wanted to have them right back in the day when they didn't have communication like they did now and so forth. And when they, um, anyway, they recovered the submarine and it had some gold in there and it had heroin in there as because it's currency, it's payment. They were using it to, to uh, uh, show good faith and give them a gift. Anyway, and it's not so, I mean, throughout ages, how do we get into China? The Chinese are still a little annoyed about us <laughs> or with us because of that whole forcing the entry there and putting heroin in with the people. But then the Chinese use heroin against the Mongolian. Anyway, heroin, it's been around for a long time. It's not going away and they make money off it. And if you don't know who they is, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. Um, our government, definitely, but I mean, our military and covert operations, how do they fund all this stuff? As if they don't get enough money, right? We've lost trillions of dollars. We've lost $9 trillion from the Fed. We lost $2 trillion from the uh, Pentagon. And then the next day, 911. And then, uh, gee, he said it out loud in front of everybody, but, but it didn't matter because nobody was focused on the fact that $2 trillion, and again, do the math, trillion is so much more than billion, uh, even on the short scale. I mean, I'll put a little bit down there maybe, or do it yourself. But the idea is that $2 trillion, a lot of money unaccounted for. And yet they need more because they are just drunk on it. Like I said, because I got a couple of emails and stuff. Is Americans are greedy and the average person is greedy. You're not greedy. You're not greedy like these guys are greedy. You might be greedy and I want an extra cookie and I wonder if I can get away with it. <laughs> you might be greedy in... Uh, you know, trying to make an investment where you get a rate of return and somebody feeds you a line of BS and you get a little greedy and you think it's good and because of your greed, you make a foolish choice. That's the kind. But you're not greedy to the point where you want to subjugate all your friends and make them work for you and you're not greedy to, to, and take part of their labor and you're not greedy to the point where, you know, I mean, like, you just, it's not the same. And, and even those emails prove my point. It's like, it's not the same scale at all. The difference is so huge. There's not even words to describe it. And then uh, the, the perversion and, I mean, just, these people are ill. 
And I'm going to put a link, if I can find it, because I, I go through so much stuff, to this one guy who was talking about baboons and how these baboons change their culture by just killing off a very small percentage of the assholes. The asshole baboons. <laughs> Anyway, and then I got bogged down in listening to his talk, Stanford University professor. Anyway, I'll put him down there. Fascinating, just fascinating stuff. Um, but his study with baboons was it was uh, caught my interest because I was thinking, hmm. Anyway, um, so heroin. Really, we don't know where it comes from. We don't know where this epidemic comes from. We don't have, right? And we just can't seem to get our troops out of Afghanistan and you guys, right? Really? And I know people that are fa still falling for it. Like, yeah, we need to be in there. I know guys that have come back from Afghanistan completely awake, completely woken up going, wow, that was bullshit. Um, but, you know, they're in. It's like this one person said, right? They, they go for the... They're not in there because necessarily because they believe in everything that they've been told they're there because they uh, were combat troops and they got orders and they follow their orders that's how the military works they were wanting to pay for their uh, college education they were maybe they weren't even going for college ed they just needed a job because where they are there were no jobs if you remember uh, there was a time when the army and navy, uh, the, all the military was having a hard time meeting its recruitment goals because nobody wanted to go into these unjust wars. And then the economy collapsed, ain't no jobs. Military pays you, right? Don't, don't be fooled, right? And these guys, they got, right? It's not the upper classes that are fighting these wars. It's not the upper classes on the front lines. It's the lower classes. And then if you can see that the bankers have figured out how to make money off of food stamps and how to make money off of the poverty. But for sure, if the economy is crappy and they, could find, uh, they couldn't find other jobs, the military is an option. And then they come back and realize, wow, that was crazy. <sighs> Anyhow, uh, educate self, educate others. This video is actually short, amazingly enough, because I'm not going to go on about other things. Lie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I, I mean, I'll probably stop right around 10. We're at 7 now. Um, and maybe even less than that. Because the idea here is very succinct on the heroin. We are the cause of the heroin epidemic in, a, in our country. And just looking the other way, just like I said, when people understood that the, uh, that the uh, government was in cahoots with the Mexican drug cartels, and of course the money laundering and so forth, and oh, all the money laundering from the heroin. Oh my goodness, they make money off of that too. Oh, silver, one quick thing. Um, it's doing what I thought it would do. It's bouncing around now under 20 as I speak. Oops, let me look here uh, very quickly. Uh, this is, I think, the most recent update. Hold on, I could refresh the page. It's uh, 1975 right now. It, uh, it went up, almost got to 20, and then it's dipping back down. Da gold is down 10 bucks. Yes, it's doing exactly what I thought it would do, and it's staying under 20. Right? Sideways, sideways. We're going to go sideways for a long time. They want to keep it here. Now, the thing about it going down to 15, I, I don't, I'm not confident it's going to go down to 15 or 11. I'm just saying it could. I don't think it will. I'm just saying don't be surprised if it does. And if it does, buy more. That's what you want to do. You want to make money on it. Because most people don't know how to do the short thing. Right? They don't know how to sell short and they don't want to get involved in short and so forth. And you're smart not to because I've seen people lose their shorts <laughs> when it came to uh, going short and being wrong. Because if the price goes up and you think it's going down, you're going to get killed trying to cover those things. Lose, excellent way to lose money. Um, but if it goes down more, then you are happy and you buy more. I think that covers it. Silver and heroin and there's a whole bunch of other stuff to talk about for sure. But I'm trying to keep it, at, you know, shorter. And I'm trying to make videos more often because people or, you know, they're like, dude, you can't just make a video every three months. I'm like, I hate, you know what, I, I subscribe to some channels and they put out a video like all the time and it's like unsubscribe because I don't want it. And then I'll go back to their channel and, you know, uh, find stuff every once in a while. Me, on the other hand, you can subscribe to me and you're not going to get inundated with videos, are you? <laughs> anyway, uh, be of good cheer. Keep, keep the mind positive. Educate self, educate others. E pluribus unum. Talk to you soon.